Hello, my name's Lisa and if this is your first time here then thank you very much for choosing to click on my video. If you are a returning subscriber then just know that I really do appreciate you. Today's content is going to be a little bit different. I'm not going to be reacting to a video from someone in a MLM, rather I am going to be talking about the way I feel I have been bullied by certain people in the anti-MLM community. The reason I've decided to make this video now is because I have been called out by a couple of creators who gave their version of events and I was always taught when growing up that you should listen to every side of the story. So they've given you their side and now I've decided it's time to give you my side. It's taken me a lot of sleepless nights to decide whether to put out this content or not and at the end of the day I feel that I should give my version of event as well. If that means that you don't agree with me and you want to unsubscribe from my channel then I'll be sorry to see you go but at the end of the day if you don't really like my content then there's really no point in you subscribing to me, is there? When I first became an anti-MLM creator back in August of 2022, the main reason for choosing to do that is because I was a blogger and as part of my blogs, I wrote a lot on the MLM industry and I decided that I would like to get more eyeballs on my blog so I resurrected my YouTube channel which I hadn't made a video on since 2017. So initially it for me it was a way to grow my blog it wasn't to grow a YouTube channel but then I found that I really enjoyed the process of making videos and bringing attention to what happens in the MLM community. I don't have an artistic bone in my body, so my thumbnails are pretty dire still, even though they have got a little bit better. Not a lot, but a little bit. And, you know, sometimes my titles can leave a lot to be desired as well, but, you know, I'm old. I'm learning new skills and it takes me a lot longer than most people because I also have a major issue with my memory. It doesn't help me either. So from my point of view, this is what happened. I was going along in my own lane making content and I reached out to a content creator who I had watched a great deal of their content and asked a few questions and got some very helpful answers and then I asked if they could help me with some content and this creator did send me some content that I used and I shouted that person out in the video and then just carried on. And then further along the line, I started watching another person's content and then I found more people in the anti-MLM community. And each of the people that I subscribe to, I watch their videos all the way through. I always leave a thumbs up on them. When I support a creator in the movement, you know, I do it wholeheartedly. The only thing I didn't do was join any of their memberships. Not really for any specific reason. I think it was more to do with the fact that I didn't really understand about memberships. I didn't really know anything about them until a lot later down the line. And then I did find another content creator who... I resonated with a lot and I started joining this creator's lives and get involved in the chat and felt safe in there and had a laugh with people in, 
in there and got to know you know new people that supported anti-MLM content and I started following this person on Instagram and asked that person a few questions and also asked if they could help me with some content and they did do that they were very helpful and I was very appreciative and by this time I had discovered what a membership was and this person became monetized and I bought a membership to their YouTube channel and everything was all good and then one day I made a comment and bearing in mind I don't swear in my videos and I don't have any swearing in my comments so if someone comes to my channel and they swear in the comment even if it's not against me so if you openly swear on on my content then I'm going to delete it end off because I just don't have that on my channel which is obviously up to me it's my channel I don't care what anyone else does on their channel they can swear in their videos it doesn't offend me and if I don't like it then I just leave and don't watch any more of that specific content so I'm not anti swearing or anything. So this particular day I was in the chat on a live video and I said something and it wasn't derogatory. I wasn't being rude. I wasn't swearing and I got timed out and I was just like, what? I thought this was a place where you could actually give your opinion, but I don't know, maybe I'd made a mistake maybe I said something wrong so even though I wasn't very happy with getting booted out of the chat I just like I said thought oh maybe I said something wrong or there was a rule that I didn't know or, or something so I didn't think too much of it I went on to Instagram into the DM of this creator and apologized even though I didn't really understand what I was apologizing for and the creator said yeah that's fine you haven't been blocked you were just timed out so I was just like okay and then I carried on supporting this creator by giving them super chats and super stickers or whatever they're called and I also bought quite a few memberships gifted memberships for people that were in the chat of this specific creator and over time I did that I don't know I've got receipts but say four times I bought five memberships and a few times I just bought one membership and and like I said I did super chats and super stickers and you know whatever they're called so as you can tell because this is the only creator that I have ever done any of that for I really liked the content that this creator put out and I had a lot of time for this person and a lot of support for this person and when I needed help they continued to help me although I did get booted out of their chat another couple of times which I felt like I was being picked on but not so much by the creator but by one certain mod in this creator's chat and I, I had actually had conversations with this creator and they had sent me a few pieces of content and helped me out with names of people that I could look up so you know I thought I had a, a bit of a rapport with them so anyway then I made a video that a lot of people did not agree with which is absolutely fine. All of the content creators in the anti-MLM movement have made at least one video that I didn't agree with what they were saying in it. Did I go in their chat and ball them out? No. Did I thumbs down the video? No. Did I get in their DMs and tell them I didn't agree with what they had said? No. Because I was taught, if you don't have anything nice to say, then please don't say anything at all. So that's what I do. If I go to a content creator's video and I don't like what they're saying, I just click off. I don't do anything else. But anyway, I made this video 
And I knew it was going to get a backlash from people, just not the people it got a backlash from. I thought it was going to be from people in multi-level marketing. But oh no, I got a massive backlash from people in the anti-MLM movement. So I had people who moderate for two YouTube channels specifically come onto my YouTube and start swearing at me in my comments. Now, if you're not a creator, you won't know this. But in the back office of YouTube, you can set up certain words that you're not going to allow on your channel. And if they get put on there, then YouTube are going to remove them and hold them for review as to whether you are going to allow them to be seen or not. So as soon as people came on and started saying the F word to me, their comments were automatically held for review and the only person who could actually see them was me. So they accused me of deleting their comments, which I suppose technically I did, but not in the way that they're meaning. They're just saying that I went to my channel, read the comment and deleted it. No, YouTube held it for review and then I deleted it. So anyway, other people that follow these creators came on and a lot of them supported my video. They said I'd done a, a good job of it, that I was very respectful in it, that I didn't mean any harm by it. And a few people said that they thought I shouldn't have made the video. But they weren't swearing at me, so I actually left their comments. Now we come to the creator who I've supported by watching their content. And don't get me wrong, they've supported me as well. They've really helped me. And I'm very sad at what has happened. And I really miss this creator. I miss watching their content. I miss talking to them interacting with them but I feel after what happened that that person and that person's mods just don't like me. They've got it in for me and I'm never going to be able to enjoy. Sorry, didn't know I was going to get upset. Anyway, so I've not been really watching this creator's content anymore. So what happened was this creator came onto my channel and left what I thought was a... They said they didn't agree with me putting out the content, which was fine. And I thought they did it in a respectful way. So I actually left the, the comment up. And then a lot of other people came on to this person's comment. And some of them said that I was bullying that person. And all I had actually said was I thought they were a hypocrite, which is not bullying in my mind in any way, shape or form. And a lot of people actually commented on this one comment. And I think it ended up by having about 40 different comments just from this one comment. Not all of them were agreeing with the person who wrote the comment initially a lot of them were agreeing with me and a lot of them were agreeing with her but no one was being disrespectful no one was swearing everything was pretty amicable even though we weren't agreeing from my point of view okay so anyway a few days go by and one specific creator who I have watched some content was, and I had supported in a way because before that person was monetized, they needed watch hours. And I, when I went to bed at night, set my computer onto their playlists and let it play through the night to help that person get their watch hours. I had never ever contacted that person it on Instagram, although I did follow that person, but I'd never ever sent this person a message. And this person made a video saying that I was attacking the person whose comment I left up 
that I know this is getting confusing, but I'm trying to sort of say it without saying people's name, okay? Because yes, I want to put my point of view out, but I don't want any bullying. I don't want any arguments. I just want to be able to say what my point of view is. Okay, so this person made a video and it was live and I was actually watching it when this person was talking about me. And this person said that I was bullying the person whose comment I left up. But I wasn't. That was the re wasn't the reason for leaving it up. It was because I was being respectful to that creator giving me their opinion in a respectful way. I wasn't doing it to highlight that person or bully that person at all. That is not why it was left there. And if you think that I did it to bully that person, then why the hell did I support that person's channel so much then? Why was I a member of it? Why did I buy super stickers and super chats and memberships for other people in it then if I'm a bully? Because I'm not a bully. And I'll tell you now, when I was at school, I got bullied and I... And I don't normally swear, but I fucking hate bullies. They really wind me up to the nth degree. And I will call out a bully every day of the week. Condone bullying in any way, shape or form. So, no, I did not leave that comment there because I was bullying that person. So get that right. Because what you said in your video is 100% wrong and I'm not having it. And then you also said that I asked a content creator for some content. That part is true. I did. This, the, the people you're talking about, I did ask them to help me with some content. 100% correct. But then you told me that they told you that... I did it in a weird way because I said my dog had died. Well, that is total, utter bullshit because I've been with my husband for 19 years and in all that time, we have never had a dog. So if you're going to say things, get your facts right. It wasn't my dog. It was actually my youngest daughter's dog. And all I was saying, the person said to me, oh, how are you doing? Or words to that effect. And I said, oh, I'm not doing very well because my daughter's dog got attacked and died. Okay, so if that is construed by immature people as uh, a weird way to ask for something, then okay then. But that's not actually the way it was. Then the content creator who I support wholeheartedly also happened to make a video. And it was live as well. And I just happened to be on it. I don't know why, I'd not watched either of these two people's content for a few days because I was absolutely fuming. So I sort of stayed away from YouTube, I didn't watch anyone's videos, I didn't make any videos because I was extremely angry, I was very upset by what had happened, not just from these creators but also by other things that were going on at the time and it affected me in a way I didn't really expect it to, put it that way. So this content creator said that I left that comment up to make an example of that person. Well, no, you're wrong. And I'm sorry you think that because that is not why I left the comment up. I left it up because I thought it was actually quite respectful. And I actually felt that in your chat, I wasn't allowed to say anything without getting booted out of it. But on my channel, where you came and put your point of view, I could say what I wanted because it's actually my channel. You have done things on your channel that I don't agree with. I have never, ever called you out publicly. In fact, I've never called you out privately. I've never got in your DMs. I have never said anything about anything that you have done or said that I don't agree with. Because I actually have respect for people and their own point of view. 
which is something that a lot of you don't have. You don't have respect for other people, in my opinion. If you don't agree with me, then come into my DM and do what two other creators did. Two other creators who I subscribed to their channels came to me in DM and said that they were disappointed that I had made that video. They wanted to put their point of view across. They did it in a respectful way. And I said, okay, thank you very much. I know what you're saying. I don't agree with you, but you've done it in a respectful way and I appreciate that. A lot of other creators in the anti-MLM space, I don't know whether they've watched the video or not, but they did nothing. They didn't come to my channel. They didn't DM me. They didn't unsubscribe from me and they didn't block me on Instagram. Even after this incident, I didn't go to any of your channel, do anything, say anything. I mean, I was actually in the live when two of these people were talking about me. So I could have jumped onto their chat and defended myself and said something, but I didn't. And one of them, if I remember rightly, I might have got this wrong, but if I, if I do think that it was a member's life, but I was actually still a member of that channel. So therefore I was able to attend and listen to that person saying that I'm a bully. Imagine that. And I stayed and listened to the video as well. Never said a word. One creator who called me out, who I have never contacted, said that I asked them for some content, which is totally false. And I could prove it to you. I could go onto Instagram now and show you that I have never messaged that creator. So that is 100% a lie. The thing is though, I've blocked that creator from my channel. So that creator can actually watch this video, but they can't come into my comments and say anything because they're not coming onto my channel and swearing on it like they do on their own. What they do on their own, I don't give a toss about, but you're not doing it on mine. Okay. I've also unfollowed you on Instagram. The other two content creators who I did actually ask help from, and they did give me help, which I still do appreciate, they have both blocked me on Instagram. So even though I would have been respectful to them, they've not given me a chance to say anything, which is why I'm making this video. I, I really didn't want to make this video. I didn't want to feel vulnerable. I didn't want to feel bullied. I didn't want to not make YouTube content anymore. And do you know what? I'm not going to let you bully me. I'm not going to let you win. I'm still going to make content and we'll just all go on our merry way. The person who I was a member of their channel, I'm not a member of it anymore. Not because I don't enjoy your content, not be because I don't agree with you anymore, because in a lot of respects I do, but I just don't agree with your mods. And as far as I'm concerned, quite a few of your mods are okay, but a few of them are bullies. So therefore, I don't feel I want to be a member of your channel anymore. So that's my side of the story. Like I said at the beginning, if you want to unsubscribe from my channel, then that's absolutely fine. There's actually no point in having subscribers that don't actually watch your content because, you know, it just messes up your analytics and it doesn't give you a true representation of what's happening so anyone who doesn't like my content and doesn't actually watch it then please unsubscribe that's all i've got to say thank you for watching if you can be polite and not swear in my comments then please leave your opinion in the comment bye for now